What's up my peeps and welcome back. Welcome to the first part of Eco Eco campaign. You have been spamming me to hell for this and uh, I'm delivering. Um, I haven't been making any videos for like a week. I think that's the longest I've gone without making videos. Um, and that's because of uh, exams and school and you know, f uh, finishing the year. But uh, we're pretty much done at school now. Um, summer vacation has pretty much started because we don't have anything else to do and I'm done with exams and uh, that's why I'm back so um, like I said earlier you guys were spamming me for eco eco campaign so uh, at first I was like meh this one this one is way too much like Usugi campaign because I played it a little bit on hard and I gotta say I got my ass beat up like two times but on the third time I managed to take pretty much uh, the entire middle of Japan but, um, but yeah, f f originally I was like, ah, I'm not sure if I want to do this, but so much spam made me want to, you know, fuck it, let's go, let's do it. And it's been a while since i played Shogun, uh, I haven't played it since the last part that I uploaded, a couple days before I uploaded that one, so it's been a while. Um, but let's just get right into this, and as you may notice, I have put it on normal difficulty, and... I have a few reasons for that because um, I heard and I know now after experience that Iko Iki is even harder than Usugi because uh, all factions, it, well, they're pretty much like Usugi. Everyone held, hates them and everyone wants to kill them. But the only difference is that Iko Iki starts with minus 25 diplomatic relations with all other factions. Um, so imagine Usugi, except even more hated. So you're pretty much gonna get stormed by everyone unless you um, lick some ass. And um, well, I found myself in the game on hard. I found myself having to uh, have a bunch of armies with Ashigaru units. Uh, I never had enough money to make a professional army of uh, monk units, of special Iko Iki units, because I had so many open fronts. And uh, I feel like I. Um, I should play on normal to uh, so that I can show you a couple of the new units early game so I don't have to be playing through like 70% of the campaign before I can afford them. Um, so that's why I'm going to be playing on normal but enough about that, enough spamming and, and talking for me and ranting for me. Uh, let's just go ahead and start this and um, I'll see you guys in the campaign. 15. This is Sengoku Jidai. The age of the country at war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now, the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun! But who will win? We Koikya from every corner of Japan united in one course. We are the only true believers. Our faith gives us power against any who oppose the will of heaven. Our numbers swell as morph me from the great laws and their cruelty. Soon, the shogun in Kyoto himself will shake as he hears us approach. Now, the faithful will rise and claim their rightful dues. Our foes will fall, crushed by their own sins. We wait no longer. Faith marches with us. Fuck yeah. I hate these trailers. We are the Koiki. We are the devout. 
浄土真宗のリズムチャンピオンバイエンディングズマーク・デニオアドハイドフィモニー It was during this time that in order to check our growing power and acquire our wealth we were driven from only products made to feed a chizen color Roused by Renu's teachings the people of these products turned upon their autocratic masters and establish a people who wish to follow Jodo Shinshu. Under the guidance of the Shimozuma clan, our safety has been assured by the most devout and capable of warriors. It will not be long, however, before we are threatened once more from without. We will benefit greatly by returning to Ur, as the province is blessed with fertile soil and the local ninja will be an asset to all the rats. Wakaza, to the southwest, is of lesser strategic importance, as a noto and edge to the northeast. Although capturing these provinces will nonetheless allow us to maintain our strength. Through force of arms and strength of conviction, we will prevail. Opposition to the Jodo Shinshu way will continue to be strong. Shogun will be no exception. Should he perceive us as a threat, he will stop at nothing until our people are subjugated utterly. When this day comes, we must seize Kyoto by his force. With Ashimozuma ruling the Shogunate in our name, all of Japan will know our might. The Koiki will be free. Alright, so let's uh, get this started. Ah, let's see here. 10% chance of Iko Iki Monk action success chance. Um, alright. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I probably should have turned that off. Um, now, yeah. One thing that I want to do, and um, I'm going to say that. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna, gonna call this a tip. <laughs> um, I'll show you in a minute. I'm just. Let me just think. I am not sure whether I should be marching down south, uh, southwest, or marching down east, because either way is possible. But I know that marching this way gives me more trouble. It gives me more enemies because. Um, here are the um, what are they called? Damn it! Uh, the ninja faction. I I I remember. I forgot. So here's the ninja faction. It's one of the major factions. And uh, Oda starts here. So you're gonna be you're gonna be um, surrounded by huge clans around you. So going this way is definitely the hardest way. Uh, but going this way is kind of boring because this is exactly where I was fighting uh, in the Osugi campaign. So I don't I don't think I want to be going this way. Um, but yeah, uh, because I'm not going to go that way, I will just... Uh, no, no, actually no. I'm already trading with, um, with Anake Koji. So I'm gonna be requesting trade with my with factions to the east of me. So Jinbo, um, Sakai, I might have to take them out, but yeah, I'll, I'll take them out so I won't um, make an alliance with them. But here's one of the things that I like to do, um, because I'm not going to be attacking Hatakiyama and uh, and um, Jinbo. Yeah, I'm not going to be attacking Hatakiyama or Jinbo. So what I can do is get a little bit of money from them by giving them five turns of um, uh, military access. So as you can see, he's moderate at 1,000. That's because well, I can show you better if I do this. He's still moderate at 1,000. Um, that's because he doesn't have 1,000 money or gold. I'm just still gonna be calling it money. Um, so if you see, I pulled it down to 500. Now it's still high. It's it's high, but 
Um, it's 20 turns, so that's definitely not worth it. If I put it to 5... Oh wow, he's greedy. Alright, so this, this just means he has about 500. He doesn't have 700, because I tried that. Uh, so, the factions around me have nearly no money at all at this point. And um, that's why I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait one or two turns for them to get income. And then I will basically sell them um, military access to my lands. And this is especially helpful in the beginning of the game. Because um, in the beginning you need to be producing a ton of shit. Like I can upgrade everything here. I can upgrade everything here. Uh, so money in the beginning is especially important. Um, so that's why I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be um, sort of selling um, for uh, military access to them. And that's going to help me boost my income a lot in the beginning, which is much needed. So, uh, let's see. I do have more money and... Uh, I guess I can make a harbor. And a single Ashigaru unit. Okay. So, back to not diplomacy, back to Master of the Arts. Um, in this campaign, especially in the beginning, I want to try to focus on the way of Chi because of monk actions and stuff like that. So, we're already done with this turn. I am. Um, I'll show you now. Uh, that they will be gaining a, a little bit of money in the next turn so they will actually be giving me more if I sell them um, um, military access especially Hatakiyama because Hatakiyama has three regions so he's getting a lot of income uh, per turn or four regions actually now I'm just gonna skip that alright Mission, Master Art of the Spirit, and we get a monk, and we get a unit, I mean. Alright. So let's just get down here, start um, converting this province, and uh, actually, let's not get too far down, because um, those guys, I forgot, I still don't remember the name, the ninja faction tends to take out Asai and have a bunch of ninjas here. And they can kill my monk with the ninjas. So fuck that. But now I can show you show you. Hatkiyama. Four provinces. Welcome. Sell him. I'm just gonna put it on twenty first just to find out how much money he has. As you can see he has two thousand at least. Does not have three thousand. Alright, so he's got two thousand five hundred. Let's just do one final. This is um, a great way to boost your uh, beginning of the game because the the start, the first few rounds are always the most expo uh, important rounds. So we found out he has two uh, two thousand six hundred, maybe a little bit more, but I'm not gonna go into fucking details with that. So he has two thousand six hundred, and uh, let's see. It doesn't accept ten turns. Damn it, he's greedy. Alright, but we need money, so let's make it 20. He's gonna be happy about that too, so. And he's in uh, war against a ton of factions, or he will be. So, we don't have to be, we don't have to be uh, worried about a potential backstab. Well, I'm gonna do the same with these guys. They probably don't have uh, as much because they only have one um, territory. It seems like they have at least 1,000. Okay, so they have 1,200. That's all their money. Um, Alright, 10 turns. And now with Jimbo. And another thing that I want to say is that uh, if you do it like if you do that, you're actually also sabotaging for them because that money that you're getting is money that could be used on their units or on their cities so even though you are risking a little bit by giving them diplomatic uh, not diplomatic by giving them military access for a few turns you're also 
making them an easy target for whatever clan that might attack them. So you're kind of weakening them up at the, at the same time as you're um, I'm here to scamming them. And to seek a worthy outcome to our Whoa, discussion. low? Wow, he doesn't want this. Nope, he is not interested. Fuck you. Wow, Jinbo. Actually, 